Yeah, it's Paul the Pipe Guy here, live from the outskirts of Rochester, New York. And here's Callie the Killer Calico Cat. Doesn't she look impressed? Callie. Hey, baby. Oh, yeah, we'll be right back. Oh, yeah, I figured I'd like Callie the Killer Calico Cat. C-A-L-I. This is the name of my cat. C-A-L-I. Kelly, the killer calico cat. Do the introduction. But you got Paul the Pipe Guy here. Yep. Live in the United States of America. And good morning, UK. I know some of my subscribers are just waking up, having your coffee. And now you're watching this video. Some of you in the U.S., are going to watch us tonight and some of you in the UK that stay up late will watch us too. So I'm actually pretty excited because um, I was digging around wondering now, oh, man, what pipe and what blend and so I came up with two pipes and two blends. So uh, the first one, um, I pulled this out of a rack, all right? in the corner of my living room. This is a K. Woody drinkless pipe, all right? Four hole stinger. It's got the uh, K. Woody logo on the top and it has a four digit serial number uh, and it is 7733. And in that we have some rum Irish twist. Now I clean these up. I've got, I love this Decatur pipe shield stuff. It's kind of like chapstick. You take, you know, a cotton cloth, small cotton cloth. You dip a little on there and it makes it look pretty, makes a grain come out. I actually thought about taking these pipes, putting them on my polishing wheel, but then I'm like, no, there's no way I want to remove a hundred year, years old worth of um, patina. What is patina? Patina is just age from use. I don't want it to look new. It looks great. You can see where the guy had his hand right there, smoking that baby. You can see where he had his thumb on that side over there smoking that and enjoying it. Yeah. So that's the first pipe. And that was made between 1919 and 1938. The second pipe we have has some uh, brown Irish twist. It's another K. Woody and telltale sign of the age. Logo's up on the top. Four hole stinger. I won't get into that. And a four digit uh, bull number, which actually is, uh, 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 bear with me, six, seven, eight, seven, seven, one. And that's actually a Canadian K Woody, which is a, a bit of a rare find. Uh, you'll pay up for this. Um, uh, and like I said, with that, we have Brown Irish twist and I went over it with the Decatur pipe shield just went over it and massaged it in and it came out great because these were really dusty they haven't been smoked in a long time for me and uh so let's start something on fire let's do the rum irish twist first yeah uh and uh yeah here we go that is like loaded so good that's so good look at that tobacco rose right up out of there say yes I'm being smoked Mm. Oh, 
that's so good. Mm. May I pack this one a wee bit tight, but that's okay. We'll get through it. Mm. We'll just aerate it a little bit. Just kind of lift that tobacco up out of there just a tiny bit. Tamper down just a tiny bit. Relight her back up. Oh yeah, and there we go. Mmm. The reason why I chose two K Woody bowls and two blends they're smaller bowls and they're thin. Or thinner. They're not thick like this Mr. Brog. And I don't know how much they've been smoked. I know they haven't been reamed out way too much or anything like that. But, um, ooh, baby. That rum Irish twist is good. Mmm, there we go. It's damp, too. It's real damp. Moist. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Rum Irish Twist. By Galwith Hogarth and Company. Anybody see uh, Mark Hill, Welsh Piper 62's new pipes he's collecting? They're like that long. It's like, man, how do you clean them things? The guy's got more boxes and tobacco and all kinds of stuff coming in. Mark, would you get an inheritance or something? Mm. Oh, this is so good. Out of a hundred year old pipe, this pipe is most likely a hundred years old or a little bit older. You can see where the guy held it. Whoever had this, you could see where his thumb was. You could see where his forefinger held this pipe. And he wasn't a clencher, man. That's like no teeth chatter, nothing on there. These are two blends. You want to smoke gently or they will kick your ass. They're strong. <clears throat> it's an all day smoke. I'm even smoking it too hard right now. Mm. Oh, this is good. Ah. 
Well, this this old girl's starting to heat up just a little bit. We're going to let her rest and got her big sister here for bowl number two. Yeah, we're going to set that one on fire. I'm going to pause the video for a nanosecond and I'll be right back. Listen. Hear that little chime? I love clocks like Dale Piper does. So, <clears throat> we have our uh, Canadian style, uh, and that's got our Canadian style um, K Woody that's a hundred years old. <clears throat> And that's just dark all the way around, really. As I'm looking at it, you really can't see any finger placement, but, you know, the, well, maybe the guy had it all over. The bowl is definitely darker than the stem is. Look at that, Briar. If I can get that focus. Right there. That's phenomenal. Another 100-year-old pipe. And <clears throat> we've got some brown Irish twist in her. Ugh. Yeah. Cheers, by the way, with the bush beer. Let's set this one on fire with some brown Irish twist in her. Look at that tobacco rise up. Oh, yeah. Nice little char light there. That one's packed real nice. The other one was a little tighter. Had to kind of aerate it a little bit. Now, this is the strong stuff, the brown iris twist. Look at that jump up out of the bowl. Oh, baby. She couldn't wait to get smoked. <clears throat> yeah. Love Canadian vibes. Why do I like Canadian pipes? It takes a big, huge hunk of nice briar to make a Canadian pipe. And that smoke going down through that briar. Mm. Cools her down nice. Now I know what Johnny Onion feels 
when he's smoking brown Irish twist. Mmm. why he's like oh that's so good because it is so good what's good about it it's <clears throat> Gawith and Hogarth brown Irish twist it's a strong tobacco I love the smokiness of it. I love the strength of it. It's just darn good. You gotta get me a Savinelli bent. I'll tell you what. Whew. I had one subscriber. He's like, do you like Sativa? Invicta? Or what? Named off four different kinds of marijuana strains. I don't do marijuana. It makes you stupid, and it makes you ask stupid questions like that. Do you see me on my YouTube channel smoking marijuana? No. You smoke your marijuana and whatever. If you want to be stupid, then unsubscribe. I don't care. I don't smoke that shit. This is good. This bull's starting to heat up just a little bit. We're going to let her rest for a 100-year-old girl. We'll be right back in a nanosecond. All righty, pipe smokers. So we're back to our another K. Woody 100-year-old bull again. The first one we did with rum Irish twist in it. But first, we must clear the palate. Yeah. The rum Irish twist is definitely more mild than the brown Irish twist. <laughs> That's so good. Mm. I haven't heard from uh, Gene Bromberg lately in a long time. Gene Bromberg, are you still out there? Unbelievable. 
Well, Paul the Pipe Guy is going to finish up these two bowls, make myself some dinner, then off to bed. Oh, yeah. I got a lot of catching up to do to answer responses on uh, my YouTube videos and so forth. So I'm going to do that first before I make dinner. Anyways, Paul the Pipe Guy, live from the outskirts of Rochester, New York, in the United States of America. Thank the Lord. God bless you all. And happy pipe smoking, pipe smokers. Yeah, over and out.